Almost 70 million years ago on the island of Madagascar lived one of the best dinosaurs of all time, Mashikasaurus, which we're not talking about today. But there was also a larger predator called Majungasaurus, which we are talking about for Dinovember Day 29 because somebody requested it. It grew to be about 23 feet long or 7 meters and it was part of a group of carnivorous dinosaurs called the Abelosaurids, which looked different in some key ways from most others like, say, Tyrannosaurus. Here's an Allosaurus skull, for example, a classic and a beaut. And here is Majungasaurus. First of all, it has an adorable tiny little single horn on the top of its head, which is awesome, but also just the overall shape is very different, right? Its face is short as well as taller and wider. That difference in shape, in other words, that morphological difference, is also one that we see between today's wild dogs, like wolves, and cats, like tigers. The former have longer, narrower jaws, whereas the latter have shorter, wider jaws. And in the case of canids and felids, that morphological difference is accompanied by a functional difference in terms of different predation styles. Dogs, which tend to be narrow-snouted, typically employ repeated shallow bites to subdue prey, whereas as the broader snouted cats tend to kill with a single strong bite to the neck or muzzle. So, although it is admittedly a bit speculative, some scientists have hypothesized that Majungasaurus may have been adapted for a mode of predation that entailed relatively few penetrating bites accompanied by powerful neck retraction, as well as a bite and hold behavior. Carnivorous dinosaurs generally would have utilized a strike and tear mode of attack and avoided biting and holding behavior due to structural limitations of its skull. But Majungasaurus got that chonky skull. And so perhaps it employed a combination of relatively few prolonged penetrating bites and powerful neck retraction to produce massive wounds, specializing in felid-like predation using a strategy of fewer, deeper, more lethal bites. And what exactly was the recipient of such a strategy? Well, the only large herbivores that we've found in the area are medium-sized, so still like 50 foot long, long-necked dinosaurs. So it seems that, as far as we know, Majungasaurus's main prey was sauropods, like for example, Rapidosaurus. Also, we have very direct evidence that they were cannibals, and sure, very likely this could have been scavenging, but still, eating members of their own species. And yes, Majungatholus is now synonymous with Majungasaurus. I hope I see you tomorrow for the very last episode of Dinovember, in which I will introduce you to one of my personal favorite modern-day still-living, so extant, dinosaurs.